So guys, uh, welcome welcome to Fright Fest. Is this your first time at the festival? It's our first time here, yeah. And we're loving every minute yeah. of it. <laughs> have you been here for a few days? And you know, Have you had a chance to experience much of the festival? Yeah, we've been here. We, I mean, we came in Thursday and we've been doing as much as you can. A, you know, a festival like this, I'm like trying to see as many movies as I possibly can, but it's impossible to see them all. But we're, we're doing our best. And each year there's a, there's a zombie sort of film here. Heard, I guess, has probably got that mantle this year, but it's quite a, a different take on, on the genre. Can you uh, talk a little bit about the idea and how it came together? Yeah, Herd is about two women going on a camping trip trying to save their failing marriage and end up trapped between a zombie outbreak and warring militia groups and they have to fight for love and survival. Zombies, you have to be very careful because an audience has an expectation we need to give them a fulfilling zombie movie, creatures that are really exciting and fun and scary. Ours are more in the viral you know, zombie world than in the undead world. Um, and so for us, the film Horror allows us to do this great great backdrop of high tension storytelling for the couple, um, for the lead couple, but ultimately it's about group think at its heart, it's about herd thinking, as dare I say. And I mean, just talk me through the, the design, I mean, I know we've got a couple of creatures wandering around uh, behind us, what was the thought process behind, because uh, you know, obviously there's been so many zombies over history. Yeah, um, you know, what was important to us is we wanted to be, come from a place of reality, like it felt like this could happen, um, you know, when we were writing we were like, what, you know, is it Ebola meets rabies, you know? So it's very viral, there, there are people who are still alive but are infected, so uh, because of that they have open wounds, they have a lot of pus. What you don't see is like skeletons walking or partial skeletons, what you do see is very, very wet Pus filled. Yeah, and you'll see also they have like they develop like basically migraines behind their eyes, so they'll rub their head on things trying to alleviate some of the pain or get some relief from it, and so they get scratches and bloody. They're very wet. Okay, it's very much a film to probably maybe not snack with. Pardon? It's probably a film not to have a snack with, right? <laughs> if you do have a snack, have a good stomach. And what are the hopes for the film after after the festival circuit? Where, where's this film going next? Uh, we're we're uh, here in the UK with High Flyers, the distributor, and we're uh, in the US. We're opening and uh, doing our theatrical run on October 13th. So theatrical, and then uh, to the you know platforms. Well, I wish you guys the best of luck with today and uh, with the release. Thank you. Thank you.